Right, so part two. And yeah, you know, just just dumb shit. So yesterday, since I I ain't feel like you know cooking or whatever, I ordered uh. So I I know they they do crazy shit when I order Grubhub or Postmates or anything. You know, they they, they send it. They, they, they still on this. Everybody, we're supposed to be helping each other eat. And yeah, you know that. Like we're in the mob. You you eating good? Yeah, bitch, I'm eating good. <laughs> you gonna be eating hot lead if you keep. You know, just come on over here. Just I'm begging, you, please come on over here. <laughs> but anyway, you know, what I'm saying with with no bro. With this is America, everything's going good right now. Ain't nobody got well, not going good. But we still got the basic social programs. If you ain't eating, you need to get up and do something. You know, it ain't our fault if you ain't tried when you were 16, 15, 17, 18, whatever. And because, like I said, if you, you, we, we older than you. We, you know, wasn't no way we was thinking about, uh, by the time you 18, you know, oh, there's nothing we could do to white folks. No, we had all types of dreams and plans and shit. So anyway, the little, uh, this is just, you know, the guy, uh, the Grubhub dude. This is your grub hub. Da, da, da. Now, how you know I'm black? Now, I don't know how white people might feel about that, but you see, he, yeah, I said that back. You see, they, 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 this, he's gang stalking me because, you know, I do a lot of comments on the local news channel where people be dying and, you know, black folks in Detroit. Just like uh, this week already, it's just Sunday. They said by Friday, there was 20 people shot in Philadelphia. Two days ago in 24 hours, and that was that. It wasn't even the weekend yet. 20 people. It, it's just Sunday afternoon. We don't even know what the whole weekend total gonna be like. And so yeah, I be leaving all these you know comments, but I use you know different emojis to fuck with them because I know the gang stalkers don't like it and shit. You know, for some reason, you know everything. They just uh, get upset about everything. That's why I keep telling everybody, just do what you normally do. You don't have to change. Because really what they don't, they don't want us to uh, 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 just do anything. To see, oh, because also, this is what the second video is supposed to be about. Not just him, but I'm saying, you know, like, how you know I'm black and you do that, that emoji. You switch your uh, emojis to black. You don't know where you're coming to. You don't know who you deliver. I ain't got, I don't even know. Do, can you put your picture on your account? I don't think so. You know, Uber or Lyft, you can put your picture if you're just a rider. But either way, I ain't got pictures on none of my accounts. So how the hell you know, you know, what color I am to, to do something like that? How you know I'm cool? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, how you know I, I'm not going to say nothing like, well, you know, why are you doing that? That's offensive. What is that? You know, you. That, but even okay, so we'll say he ain't a gang stalker. That's still to me unprofessional. Not, not really. It's just grub her, but but you know why he's doing it. All right. So anyway, I gotta find this other video. That proof. These motherfuckers. More proof. I, like I said, I'm recording it. The banks. They doing shit on purpose. Like uh. They uh uh. Not now they're not charge they're not gonna charge uh overdraft fees right and uh it was three months but it was, it was this is like a, a a week ago this might be this might be the one I'm looking for. This say two weeks ago. A group of senators are urging the biggest banks in the U.S. to scrap or severely reduce overdraft fees. Lawmakers, including Senate Banking Chairman Sherrod Brown, called for a more fair fee structure. Now, I can't find it. I got to go through my uh, history, and I probably can find the one I'm really looking for. Because dude left a comment that explained everything. I couldn't even put it in words. 
Because there's plenty of time and he explained what they do. So they get like three or four charges and you got enough to cover it if they do it the right way. And he, they're doing it on purpose. And I, the reason I know because I used to belong to a credit union. And, that's, and I just couldn't explain when I called my bank. I'm like, wait a minute. I had enough money and why did why did I go overdraft? Now you charge me 30. And I'm like, why don't y'all list it? Because the way the credit union, they list it as it gets there. So you can easily monitor and keep your credit account from going overboard so overdraft so because they list as soon as they get it and take it out and this dude explained it really the way i couldn't put it in words basically and it was simple basically they do it on purpose so you got 110 we'll just use that example it's and you got about uh 80 dollars of stuff coming in or maybe you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it, but you got 110, but you're, gonna, you're not going to go in overdraft, but you'll be like at zero, but you know, you're going to get paid maybe by tomorrow. So you can do that. And you, but what they'll do, they'll take out the big one first. And that way, damn, how did this, yeah, they take out the big one. Then the other ones, the little ones won't get covered because uh, now they're in overdraft. They'll take out a bigger one, but if they were to take out the little ones first, everything would be straight. Basically, they're stealing money from them. They did it on purpose. That's why they, you know, now it's a $30 overdraft fee for each charge. So now you got some coming in for $5, it's $35 taking out your account. And they did it on purpose. And, and you know, cause matter of fact, I had to call about three months ago or something about that. Or about two months ago. I was on that job. I was on the way. And uh, I'm like, wait a minute. You know, I was about to get paid anyway, but uh, that was the whole point. I had been, you know, I have been putting all this money, and they, it's like they saw it. I'm putting all this more money, not just my my uh, VA check. I'm talking about my, you know, from that job I was just on. Every day I'm depositing money, and but I, I'm still having to pay people, you know, this and that, this and that. So, but I'm, you know, I'm monitoring it, and then I'm like, then I call. I'm like, wait a minute, y'all did give me overdraft, and I'm like, I wouldn't even charge that. I charged it because the money the uh i had the money and y'all took something out that, that that had yeah what happened was the thing had posted two days before that and it said posted and i'm like what are you talking what, what are y'all doing i said it's, it was posted and so say i i, I charged 30 dollars and it was like two days and today i charge uh 80 or something like that but then they did some kind of weird shit and then didn't, didn't drafted or whatever until after i made another charge and i paid my phone bill or something and it, it came in and i had to call it i said no but i wouldn't even that's not my fault i wouldn't even made it but then you know they gave it back but they did it as a courtesy they didn't admit it was wrong and she was like you might not be able to do this in the future i'm like it don't matter because I, I ain't say nothing but i didn't switch banks anyway you know back to a credit union so uh and I'm like, I'm tired of y'all, you know, you can't, it's like, because like I said, when I was at a credit union all year, you can let your shit get down to like five or ten, and you know, they don't do no shenanigans, that's something that you charged three days ago, then it, then they, you know, they, they switch, because it, it, if you look at your app every day, your bank app, you see that they charged it two days ago, and it said that, they'll even change the date, so the date was like the 5th, 14th, the day the 16th. Then all of a sudden, something else comes in. They'll change that other charge to the 16th, too. And, and now, now that's what they do. Like they said, these senators making laws they, because they've they been robbing the fuck out of us. I should have been switched, but I still ain't fucking with it. Even if they do take away, because remember, Wells Fargo got in trouble. About 2015, they got in trouble for uh, their, their employees were opening up fake accounts, whatever the fuck it was. It was like, these motherfuckers crooked. I only stayed with them, uh, uh, with, uh with, 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 with them, you know, my, maybe I probably just didn't feel like it. And I just, uh, try to be careful. But my whole point, this, 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 that whole thing, the whole, like I said, the whole, just the, the whole, what they call it, the great reset. And that's a real thing and shit like that. You know, it's the, uh. They had the forum in 2020, the Great Reset, but hopefully now I think they're even trying to get legislation in America against the Great Reset, you know. Uh, this whole globalization of, of, 
you know, and, and global money and one money and all that shit. Cause like we, like everybody know about socialism, because that's what it is—the Great Reset, communism. It ain't gonna work. Everybody knows, you know, communism doesn't work. And that's a fact. It's not. It's not. It's not a different opinion. Oh, it's just your opinion. It's a fact. It's never worked. Never worked. The, the only little leaders have money and food, and the rest of us. The rest of us, you're going to starve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The rest of us are going to, uh, you know, starve. Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, uh, need uh, some <laughs> work socks I bought for, for my steel toes. They're supposed to be extra comfy for my steel toe boots. So, uh, uh, I could have just went to the store, but it's some dicky socks. I, I ain't never seen an Uber driver. I mean, uh, uh, what do you call it? The, uh, cause usually the Amazon driver put, but maybe he couldn't get in here because of her, the Uber driver. I'm like, they always pull it right here. But it looked like he got lost because he was coming, right? He came and stopped. I thought that was him. He came and then he stopped again and then he kept going. Probably the gang stalking shit. Oh, did you hear him? He just said, "How you doing, boss?" Trust me, that's uh, that wasn't that was gang stalking shit. We all know Amazon, Jeff Bezos, they uh, part of that, they part of that shit. That's why they mad at Elon. They might have stopped it, the uh, buy. We'll we'll see. But anyway, I got I got uh, that's that's what I, I was just about. I got to talk about that. <laughs>